up some besties. Who's up for a paper craft? Because I am. Today we are going to try to make some doll food using paper. I have cardstock in a variety of colors, some computer paper, and tissue paper. Let's throw in a little paper board as well so we can make a cutting board. And I'm going to use a wood grain paper to cover it. This is a printable available on our blog, myfroggystuff.blogspot.com. However, you could always use scrapbook paper as well. Let's make the cutting board first, cause that one seems pretty easy. I recycled my paper board from a cereal box. I cut it into two inch by three inch rectangles. I cut six, apply glue, and stack them together. To make a board, wrap it with a wood grain paper for a fast and easy cutting board. Now we need our vegetables. I have three different shades of green. Let's throw in some purple, red, orange, and white cardstock. I also have a piece of white computer paper. I cut about four inches of purple cardstock and four inches of white computer paper. Apply glue and glue them together. Cut it into thin strips. Then let's crinkle them up for our red cabbage. Glue together two strips of red paper, then cut it into thin strips. Let's repeat with orange cardstock. I have a single layer of a dark green cardstock. Let's cut that into strips. Keeping them thin, let's take this light green, cut it into strips, and the white cardstock as well. I think we need one more thing. I got some green computer paper so it's thinner than cardstock, and let's cut like butter lettuce shapes out of the paper. It's really just like wiggly lines. I bend it up to give it a little texture. Now that we have all of our vegetables, we need our wraps. I'm cutting tissue paper into little squares. You can always cut them into circles, but I think once we start wrapping, it doesn't really matter. Take some of the strips, cut them into about three quarter inch pieces, then take one of the leaves, bend it kind of like a taco shell. Let's add some of the peppers, and we're just gonna place those inside our little leaf. Then the carrots, oops, you do need to stay neat because we want to see those layers. Our red cabbage, or it could be red onion, whatever this is. Maybe it's like avocado or something. We'll put that in there. Then this, which is some greens, maybe it's kale. Then we'll add some noodles. Ooh, that's probably way too much. There we go. Very carefully roll the lettuce around it. Take one of the wraps and I'm gonna lay it on the counter. I push the ends of the little lettuce wrap to just try to compact everything. And then we're gonna place it on the wrap, probably about in the center. Well, we can start here. Pull the paper over the, over the wrap, and then we can roll it a little. And we're gonna bend in the sides, then continue to roll it. Put a little glue on the tissue paper, then finish rolling. To make what will be our veggie spring roll. Now we just have to make a couple more. I really feel like I'm cooking here. This is so cool. This is probably as close as I'm gonna get to making actual spring rolls. I can't cook in real life, but I can throw down in the mini-verse. And then we just add our noodles and it's time to roll. We could probably add glue here too to just make sure everything stays together. I'm going to do that. I'm just gonna add a little glue onto the leaf then tightly roll it. Now I can focus on keeping the paper thin and not the vegetables unrolling. I'm placing it right in the center and I'm gonna cut off these corners because I don't think we need quite that much. 
Then let's fold in the sides to make sure those are covered. Then fold over the other ends, kind of like a little pocket. And we can glue that down. I don't know, they all pretty much still look the same. So I don't know if that's necessary, but we're gonna keep going. Look, mom, I'm cooking. After making a few, brush them with a clear drying nail polish to make the tissue paper kind of translucent. Once dried, I cut them in half at an angle. And now you can see all of the vegetables inside. Add more nail polish to glue everything together and make sure everything doesn't come out. I cut a quarter inch piece of paper, wrap it around something round. I'm using a glue stick, gluing along the way. Remove it from the glue stick and glue it to a piece of paper. I filled it with a little hot glue. Before it dries, let's quickly dip one in and then pull up slightly then just hold it. We have to be very careful and not move so we can get a nice little effect here. Suspending the spring roll in the air. Carefully color the glue with a brown marker. I used a washable marker and now I'm gonna add some Mod Podge and very carefully paint it. Now we're gonna let this dry. I added a few strips of green paper to look like chives and a clear coat of polish. Place it on the cutting board with all the little rolls around it. I glued them all in place and I have a few loose. I even added a little sauce to one of them. Completing our spring rolls with a teriyaki sauce. And we have one suspended in air. I love doing that. It feels so remit. I took a picture of our little spring rolls and made a printable cookbook with a little mini poster. To make the cookbook, we just need the printable that can be downloaded from our blog, myfroggystuff.blogspot.com for free. Some recycled paperboard, scissors, and glue. Cut out the cover and template. Glue the template onto recycled paperboard, cut it out, fold the cover on the lines, glue the paperboard between the lines, making sure there's a little space in the center, then fold over the tabs and glue them down to make the cover. Cut out the two strips of pages, fold them accordion style, apply glue between the pages, Glue the last page of the first row to the first page of the last row. The last two pages should be single and we're gonna glue those into the cover to make a little cookbook for our dolls. Inside, we have pictures of other food crafts we've made for our dolls, like the gingerbread house. And we can glue the poster to a few layers of paperboard. Overall, I think this is a pretty easy project. Using paper, all the cutting can be a little time consuming, but the little dipping sauce is totally my favorite. Thank you for joining us for another doll food paper crafts video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff, the Frog Vlog, and Bella of MyFroggyStuff. And we will see you next time. Bye!